and sit down. Hello, gang. Colin here at Festa 67's workshop. And me, Dave, at Model Maker Dave's workshop. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Hope you're fine and dandies. Absolutely. And welcome to another Wednesday at the bench. But we'll uh, be doing a bit more on our Chinooks, Dave, won't we? The old... Yeah, yeah I might be chanting my arm. Um, because I've got me decals. Oh, he's also giving me a paint color for doing the main body. All oh, right, and I can't find a conversion from extra color into anything that I use, so oh, right. I've um been a little bit daring and I've mixed my own um oh. olive trap. Old bit of homebrew, mate. Yeah, because I've found some Tamiya, but that looks a little bit too brown. But looking at the picture in the book that you get in the decals, mm. it's, <coughs> it's a bit more green than it is brown. Oh, All right, yeah. So I'm going to see how I get on with this. <laughs> yeah. And see where we go. Otherwise, it might be going NATO green. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, my throat got stuck again. <clears throat> sorry, mate. So I've got to prepare to listen to fudge sticks and broom handles at some point if it isn't oh. quite going to plan. Maybe, possibly, kind of, sort of, um, yeah. One, one might, of, one might slip in if I growl it under my breath enough. One of, <laughs> one of those <laughs> lamenty flum flum moments. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> right, I'll just prepare that, and then I'll get um, ready to have a little readout on the chat, I think, mate. So I'll just copy that in uh, there. Let's do that for the moment, because I forgot to do it. Uh, have that in there. Oh, dear. Right, let's scroll down and pin that. Oh, it's right, my monitor keeps cutting out, Dave, as well. I so know, I like, couldn't see it flashing off the back of your drawer. Yeah, it's it's a bind, but hey-ho. Uh, I just want to pin the post, but yeah, it's not doing it. Uh, can you pad out just for a sec, Dave, mate? Cause right, dead, well, I'll, I'll, quiet. I'll start at the top where I can see. Yeah. Mike is saying hello to Graham, and Jackie is saying hello to Colin, Graham, and Mike. Oh. Mike is saying hello to Jackie. And he's also saying hello to Colin and Dave. Who are they? Not Must really be a pair nice. of reprobates from somewhere. Absolutely. Um, Mayhem Model Works is saying afternoon. And Mike is saying, and uh, He's also, um, Mayhem Model Works is also saying hello to Graham, Jackie, Mike. Uh, and Jackie's saying hello to Andy. No worries, mate. I'm back in now, mate. Uh, works is saying uh, we're all okay this half, this half. Oh, nice. Got Nat saying hello, Colin. Dave, you've read that one up, have you, Dave? Uh, that was going to be my next one. All right, mate. No worries. We're up on the path. Just realised you haven't got buttons, have you? Or have you? Um... Uh, Mayhem Model Works coming up on Model Maker TV. We have the Chinook with an H with Flight Lieutenant Colin and his wingman Dave. There you go, mate. Nice Ooh. intro there. Yeah, does does us a good intro every week, mate. Uh, Lewis is saying hi. Hello, mate. No worries. I need to go into my patron at some point today, guys, and add you into the um, chat group. I haven't forgotten you both. It's just real life got in the way, and uh, yeah. In other words, I forgot completely and uh, had some issues. Uh, Andy saying hello back to Lewis. Jackie saying hi to Lewis. Uh, Dad's doing well, he says. Uh, getting things done. Hope Andy's well. Uh, good on your Andy, says Dad. Uh, Andy's going, yeah, no daft quippage on Dave being dressed up like a Christmas elf this week because I'm too exhausted to think of anything. <laughs> oh, oh, does that class as a wibble? I think, Dave, that that's a mild... Well, don't you? 
Yeah, not quite a wibble, is it? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm in a yeah. disco today. I keep one in the dance because it's like... <laughs> in case you're wondering, folks, I've got a monitor that's trying to fail on me and it keeps switching on and off. I've got new ones coming tomorrow. No, no, we don't want any dad dancing. Oh, what? That's all I can do. <laughs> look, look, Dave, we've got love arts and kisses, mate. Oh, heck. Aye, aye. But then, see... I may have been getting gifted brownie points this week, see, so... What have you been doing? I've been doing all kinds of things to get brownie points and so that Dad can't get any. <sighs> Nat saying hello to that? Sue. Yeah, sorry, okay. mate. Are you two having a competition or something? Yes. As you can see, look, because look how many he gets. Yeah, look at him cheering in the background, you... Sh Oh, nearly. <laughs> sugar, sugar, I was so about to say. When, when you're giving your love arts out to Mike, can you change them from red to blue, please? Yeah, yeah. Look, and look at him, look, look. Oh, my lovely Sue. Oh, God, makes you sick. I ain't bitter. All <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. What's Andy saying there? Oh, I'm just not that keen on large sets of heights, otherwise eagles and all of that. Perhaps he does, mate. Uh, dum, 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 dum. Graham McRobert. Hi, Dave, and the rest of the wee scrap on Facebook the other night. Ha, ha. <laughs> Happy days, mate. Hope you're doing all right, Graham. Uh, he's saying, yeah, he was a colonel in TA. He called me out and I let rip. Ha <laughs> ha, be sorry. I wonder if he is banned yet. Oh, you had a bit of a ding dong, did you, mate? Don't let people get under your skin, mate. There's always going to be critics out there, mate. Let them do their thing and don't rise to it, buddy. Yeah. Don't give oh, them any oxygen. Absolutely. Tanya's in. I'll do Tanya. Oh, I hope you're all right, my love. Uh, Graham's like, I love a good scrap when I know something. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, you got under your skin, mate. Fred's in. Saying afternoon, chaps. Hello, Fred. Hi, Fred. How you doing, mate? Uh, okay. Um, the, the, uh, Fred's saying, hi, Mike. Uh, was that you joining my group today? Oh, well, yeah, because Fred does have a group. And he's saying, yeah, he's, uh, he's accepted him. Yeah, he got to run over to Fred's group, mate. Uh, Muse is in, she thinks. Is this that slow walk to the coffee pot moment? Because we can give you a bit of time if you need it. Or, or, or is this uh, of your eyes just, just popped open and, and everything is still in reboot mode? What she's done is she stuck her head out of the bed. One eye's opened and she's like... <laughs> <laughs> She's done that, and she's then lifted her tongue off the side of her cheek and just dropped it back in to moisten it. Uh, coffee, coffee, I need coffee. And it's that it's that uh, Frankenstein's monster walk, isn't it? Oh, coffee, oh, coffee. The, coffee. The, the zombie walk. Yeah, and then she has a coffee, and it's, oh, how do you do? <laughs> Becomes human. Absolutely. Uh Tanya saying hi, my darling, Colin and Dave. Hello, sweetheart. Uh, you're right. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Loads of kisses. <laughs> Captain Chaos is saying, hey, folks. Happy days, mate. Uh, he's also saying, would I be the first Twitch follow? Yes, you are, mate. Thanks for coming in from Twitch, mate. Much appreciated, buddy. Um, in case you wonder, there is a, a, wee, um, a wee group that we have which is there on the bottom of the screen if you need to join it uh if you're a modeler you can put all your work in and all of that gubbins and uh yeah enjoy yourself mate uh luke's in saying afternoon all hello luke hope you're all right keys uh <clears throat> Graham saying, the fella that's building the same boat as me is using photo headset uh, as I'd like to on myself on a snowberry. All right. Uh, yeah, loads of swears when it's photo etch. Uh, Muse is going, there might be a few swears in that. Yeah, I, I can well imagine mm. Muse. Bless you. Uh, that was my little disclaimer message that I did, but I'd already done it, so I can't even remember doing it. Uh, 
chat's just quickly jumped up there. Let's have a look. Scroll back up, Cole. You can do this without it looking like you're scrolling up. Gaz Wilcox is in. Say good evening, all. Uh, evening, Gaz. Hope you're doing all right, mate. Uh, Mark was saying it was me who followed uh, on Twitch, but noticed that Twitch and YT chat aren't linked. Oh, right, Mark. Happy days, mate. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, what else have we got? Lee Roberts saying hello all. Hello, mate. How are you? Hello, Lee. <clears throat> James Chapman in saying evening there, guys. Hello, James. Hope you're doing all right, mate. Oh, he James. says, just look into his left going, <gasps> Mustang. Uh, oh, is he finished? Um, it's just got a couple of bits on the figure to add, and uh, yeah. oh no, he'll be getting but, excited then. I've got a voice over all the footage yet, Dave. <laughs> I've got loads of footage, and I'm like, yeah, Sean Wiles is saying hello to everyone. Paul Lyons is saying afternoon, hello, Paul. I hope you're doing hello. all right, geez. Uh, James is saying, Colin and Dave, could you possibly PM your addresses as Shania is going to be making some Christmas cards and I'd like to send you one each. Of course we will, mate. I'll do that after I come off air, uh, James, if that's all right, mate. Sean Wiles is saying, please, Colin, no dancing. I do the river dance, mate, even when I'm not intending to because my legs like to move on their own. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, you know because you've heard my missus taking the mic, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got the Michael Flatley, she goes. Yeah. <laughs> William Rayborn saying hello, everyone. Hello, William. Hope you're doing all right. Uh, Andy says he's burnt out at the moment. He's got an extensive list of that. Well, mate, have a little breather, Andy, and uh, come back to it when you feel a bit better, mate. Plastic Monkey needs a bucket. Yeah. Oh, okay. Captain Captain Sophie, as we call him. He came in, he came okay. in the hangout and he had changed his name to Sophie, Dave. You can imagine Sue's reaction. Look at the post it. Look at the post it. Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine she, she might have said a few words. Oh, it was funny, mate. Yeah, he's saying uh, hello to Mike and Nat and uh, the others there. Uh, what have we got then? We got uh, you saying Vampy called to wake her up a while ago. Just pride herself out of bed. <laughs> Good for you. Oh, bless her. Oh, dear. Uh, and James is going, does it mean it may be very soon? Yeah, I want to send that and Harley together, mate. I've got a massive box that I've got lined up, and it'll probably come up by courier, mate. I'm just trying to organise the guy that used to do all my courier for me to sort out as and when he can do it. So I'm hoping it's going to be before Crimbo, mate, but I can't guarantee it. Uh, Gaz Wilcox is saying, hi, Nat, Ice Queen, and hi, Scaly Models. So I suppose we'd better <coughs> switch over to the old benchy cams, didn't we, mate? Oh, yeah. Because this will be a, a slightly different view because of having me light and I've got my camera on me light now. So oh, have well, you got a new light, Dave? No, it's an old one now. Yeah, have you got no, no, come on, come on, you've got a new light. You've got a new toy, haven't you? Yeah. yeah, go on, go on, you know you want to. Go on, go on, oh, if go I on. put it on, it's just going to white out everything and, and I'm just going to disappear. But... <laughs> <laughs> you've got a new light. Oh, hey, oh, there you go. Oh, look. <laughs> Look, in Technicolor, the hairy cornflake. <laughs> yeah, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> James is going awesome. It sounds great to me, mate. Yeah, it's going to be coming up in a 3D printer wash station box that's all foam lined and everything. And I want to get both the, the commission pieces in there and all packed up nice and neat and all of that. Lot. But what I'm going to do, James, is I'll take photographs of everything as is. And then if you can message me before you open the box, I'll send you the photos so you know what it's like when they're all assembled. All right, because I'm going to pin Harley Quinn's feet, but then remove her from the base so that she doesn't get broken off in transit, mate. But anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, let's just change me camera. Uh, changing me camera, Dave. Bosh, there you go. Put a bit of light on. That made absolutely no difference, did it? Or did it? Well, I, I, I don't know, but... Yeah. yeah, I'll bug it on anyway. Right. Uh, Chinook. It's all primed. 
Uh, I've, I've, oh, just got, I've just got bits to add to it. Uh, all the small little finagling bits is what's going on. And this is only its first coat of primer. And I'm going to put the next lot on. And then it'll go back into the spray booth and be uh, covered with uh, white primer. And, uh, yeah. So that's where I'm at. Oh, are you all right there, Dave? You having trouble, the old airy cornflake? Well, I might be. But then again. No, that's all right, mate. I'll carry on rambling, mate. I can talk all day, you know. <clears throat> Pardon me, you know me better than that. Yeah, I, I think I'm there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Hopefully. People can see now. Because you changed your angle again, haven't you? Yeah, and it's this is directly above rather than sort of on an angle looking down from the front. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, you've done what I did. You've uh, glued your webcam to your light, haven't you? Well, it, it's being persuaded to stick in place with um, white tack at the moment. Okay, yeah. On, on the grounds that I have got a glue gun, but I've put it in such a safe place, I can't remember where I've put it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does come in handy. Now, I'll, I think I might pop over to the range and see if I can buy another cheap and cheerful one from there. And Yeah, get, get, gets it on there, doesn't it? Gets it on there. So, yeah, uh, where are you at, mate? Because you've been doing all your detail stuff inside, didn't you? Yeah, I've, yeah, I am still not sure I've got the right colour for the internals, but looking at the looking at the book of words that I've got with me decals, yeah, the scrambles to get you out the back, it we are doing. Operation Talic in 2003. Oh, right, yeah. I wanted to go and do the one for the Falklands, but this pack doesn't cover that. Oh, yeah. As far as 1991 for the Gulf War. Oh, right, yeah. So, yeah, I found that I went all the trouble of doing the interior, doing all the washes to get all of the uh, beams, you know, looking shadowed and that. Mm. Glued the halves together, opened the back door, and you can't see, you can't see any of it because it's dark in there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, um, I was a bit deflated after that. I was like, oh, I went to all of that effort. I think I'm going to leave it as this. Yeah, um, you can't see any of it. Look, <laughs> it's just pitch dark. It's all. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. So I was a little bit despondent when I uh, glued it together and opened it because I thought, oh, I'll have a look. Oh, yeah, it's going to look mint. And it's like, it's like the black hole of cow cutter. I couldn't see that at all, mate. Uh, so, yeah, it was like, oh, well, <laughs> I know it's there. That's the thing. Uh, what was we doing? I'm itching to know what this this home brew is going to look like. <laughs> oh, oh! I'm, I'm not going to do anything. Then I'm just going to sit here and I'm oh, waiting. You're going to wait, wait for the for the swear fest to start, are you? Yeah, because am I going to think you're going to forget? <sighs> Quite probably. <laughs> You, you'll be all right. Well. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Here we go, I then. Can, I can feel the pucker. Oh, dear, that's not looking too bad. The thing is, don't forget, Dave, it's got to dry as well, mate. That's well, the key. I, I think I was a bit more nervous because of doing my own mix rather than 
buying one. Yeah, but it's like anything, you know. You, we've got a keen eye for paint. Got an echo. Have, have you got two microphones running? I don't think so. It's right, don't worry at the moment, but... I've got me compressor going. I don't know if it's a delay on that. No, nah, that's right. You carry on doing what you're doing. Don't worry about it. It's just I I was getting an echo. I don't know where the audience were. That was all. Uh, why can't I see the numbers? Oh, you pilchered. Nah. Yeah, I did as well. Uh, uh, the reason I couldn't see the numbers is because I... Had the bit facing me that hasn't got the numbers on it. Oh, God. Hasn't got the numbers on it, don't. Oh, God. I'm not safe to be left alone, am I? Ah, dear. I still can't see it, though. Oh. Just move, have a move around a minute so I'll get near it to the bench. Oh, under there. Lloyd. Take each other for all the screws. I don't know, it doesn't look so bad though. For mixing by eye, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't look too bad to me, mate. You still getting an echo? No, nah, it's all right now. Probably just a minor glitch, mate. It does creep in every now and then, doesn't it? part of fun. Good belch, mate. There's definitely nothing on there. That's not bad. Are you happy with that, mate? Um, yeah. Oh, good man. No, I don't think I've got any grounds to complain about it. It's a result, mate. Not gonna Definitely. Good, not going to do me a lot of good complaining about it. I was the one that mixed it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't ring them up, can you, and say, uh, excuse me, mate, but that paint is a bit crummy. Because they'll mock you, won't they? Oh, yeah. Right, how far up was that? Two there. Kinds of gubbins going on. Cut bits up under there, done them. The US Army one. Something down the front, which is there. Got another little one right at the nose. 
the bitch so ickled, mate. Okay, let's have a look at the top bit. There's a couple of bits I still haven't found yet. There you go, let's come along there and do that because I uh, we can glue something together then. Uh, Luke's got a question for you, Dave. What's your <laughs> thought process on painting before buttoning up the fuselage? Because I don't want to get it on the windows. And I don't know, I just thought I'd try and be a bit different this time. Uh, um, yeah, I I just whacked uh, mask hole on me windows once it was built. But yeah, different I'm, ways of doing it, isn't it, mate? Well, you you went the route of buttoning everything up, and I thought, well, there, there might be people out there that would want to do it a slightly different way. So I thought, well, I'll do mine this way which also means that when i put them together i'm gonna to have to deal with the, the seam line there you go mm. yeah i just thought no mask out that'll do me But uh, now I've got some primer that's uh, hard on me arrived. I can get round to priming it. Oh, what, one that hasn't gone all glunky and horrible? Yeah, it, oh, mate, yeah, that's now my diorama paint. Uh, yeah. yeah it, I don't know what happened there. It just went a bit odd. You didn't leave the lid slightly open, did you, by, by accident? Uh, no, I never do, Dave. I always check my lids, mate. Okay. Just but, a thought. Um, no, no, the lids are always closed, mate. It hadn't gone off in any way. It had just separated but into lumpy, gooey, separated stuff. Um, could have been an age thing. How long had you had it for? About a year and a half. Hmm. Don't know then. No, I've had a bottle of Vallejo for eight years, and that's fine. So, yeah, so that's just one of them, mate. Something didn't agree with it. Just went a bit mangy, but it'll be all right for brush painting on dios, so it won't go to waste. But certainly won't go through the airbrush again. Oh no, because it basically gives you the same effect. As if you're painting something that's got mold release on it. Oh, joy. Separates out on the model. <clears throat> Which is great. Just what you want. Well, yeah, because it could have potentially backfired with a paddy wagon. Because I can remember saying to you about that, saying, I think there's mold release on it, Dave. Be careful. Wash it, which we've done. And then I sprayed the same paint on this Chinook and it did exactly the same. And the Chinook was washed. So I then did a couple of test screws and spoons and it did the same on them and all. So it's like, yeah. That pot of paint has gone to the uh, diorama collection. It's just one of them things, mate. It happens. Just flooded that on, leave it alone. Uh, that's them bits that I'm after. 77 and 79. What? Um, yeah. Clean that out later. Oh, what have we got? Model making truck are the best teams playing white with navy shorts, old oh dear. Uh, are they picking on dad in the chat there? Is everyone having a go at Liverpool? 
Yeah. Oh, dear. You see, I was uh, saying to Black Rifle, yeah, good question. Yeah. Uh, Paul Lyon saying it does hurt looking down on everyone. Yeah, mate, what can I say? I'm a West Ham fan, mate. Usually we have when our local paper, when we play, has a fold out flat on it so that people can fold it down to see where we are in the league. You know, because we are that low. But uh, we're doing all right this season. I've got a bit of vertigo this year, Dave, because <laughs> West Ham and Neil have won a couple of games and I don't know what to do. <clears throat> all new to me, mate. Do you do not have a bit of celebration or something? No, I'm celebrating football now, mate. It's like, yeah. 22 millionaires kicking a bag of air around. Yeah. It's lost its. I've lost my love affair with football because of that. But. Twenty-two overpaid prima donnas. Pretty much. Yeah. It's when they fall over just because someone's ruffled their hair. It's like, all right, he's messed your hair up, mate. Get back up. I don't get it, but. The game's changed, doesn't it? Yeah, or well, he gets a tap on the ankle and he's rolling around in agony, screaming for mummy to come and kiss it. But and as soon as the ref blows for a free kick, he's up and running around like he's been never been touched. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like you've got to love him, ain't you? You get a rugby tack, a rugby player that's been tackled out by about two or three players, gets up, shakes himself down, and carries on. Yeah. Paul Lines is saying, My old band's from East Ham, he says, so I've got a little love for the Amers. Oh, cheers, mate. Mind you, there was a thing on the old news yesterday about some rugby players that have suffered um, with Alzheimer's and brain injuries and they're all going to court, didn't they? Yeah, one of them's got an early onset of... Oh, no, some form of... brain damage. Yeah. Because of... Um, when they go down for the scrums, they're banging their heads all the time. Yeah. Which, yeah, I, I'm not... I, I, I used to play rugby, but I was one of the fly boys out on the wing. Oh, right, yeah. But I, I did inadvertently... Uh, Played the position of hooker a couple of times and thought, yeah, never again. You was an hooker, Dave. You never told me this. Yeah, I was a dirty hooker. <laughs> and I wasn't cheap. <laughs> Sounds so wrong. Uh, ECI, though, saying personally gave up on American football with all the kneeling stuff. Yes, it's um, yeah, getting a bone of contention, really, isn't it? Don't get me wrong, you know, it's well, I'm not going to get into the political side, it's not worth it. Yeah. All lives matter, yeah, exactly. And I don't mean that in a nasty way, I just mean it in a realistic way. We're all here for a very short time. Yeah. Why don't we all just get on together? Simple, isn't it? Simples. I'd never be. I'd never make a good politician, would I? No, I don't think I would either. So that states as it should. Be. Don't it? Don't know. Modify it. Uh oh. Are you getting the saw out? No. Ooh, hey. No, no. The saw's not coming out yet, mate. I don't need to get the saw. Well, <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't. I don't need to get the saw out. Hang on a minute. Fester's not getting the saw out. Are you, are you sure you're feeling all right, mate? 
Well, the saw's already been out once on this at the beginning, wasn't it, when I cut the sides off? Yeah, but it normally comes out a few times. I'm not saying there won't be any potential for saw. <laughs> <laughs> but at the moment it's surplus to requirements oh, who, uh, hey, who would have ever thought that day eh? well, exactly. yeah, the sorry. saw surplus to requirements eh? glad I'm sat down I would have fallen down the shop <laughs> don't rag you Me? clean that up no oh. I'm lovely I am I cleaned that up, didn't I? You had to. Yeah, stick it to the model, Colt, not your finger. Oh, you're not using super glue again, are you? No. Oh, no, but uh, yeah. I'm dealing with Captain Twitches and yeah. And the trembles. But it'll get there. I can do this. I'm live. I'm not going to swear at myself because I'm live. Although it's in close proximity. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. It's just the twitches. It's it's trying to gauge. Uh, the Sergeant Bones will relate to this. Sometimes you can use your shakes and your twitches to your advantage because you can move something just as you're about to twitch and bink, it goes in and you've twitched and you've let go of it. But yeah, sometimes the glue sticks to your finger and as you twitch, you pull, you pull it back off again. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, so it gets a bit, yeah. Gets a bit annoying. Absolutely, mate. It's all sent to test us, mate. used to bother me but it don't now so it don't know it just does give you the raging up every now and then but hey ho. uh what are we say in here uh spiddy's in he's saying i could oh, be a great saying? a great politician i could easily fall asleep at work i wake up and shout harumph occasionally and then go and drink brandy in the works bar good shout mate ECI who saying his wife was a big NFL fan and with all the controversy we gave up on it. It's nice to have Sundays back to do other things. Absolutely, mate. Uh, and Andy, you get uh, look at the post it, look at the post it, Hillman Imp Hot Rod. I know what you did there. You tried. But yes, yes, it's uh... <laughs> Are you starting on me now, Dave? You are, aren't you? Would I? Yes. So they're picking on me. Tanya, they're picking on me. Yeah. All right, sure. Absolutely, mate. I'm too I'm too old and too long in the tooth now to have an art, <laughs> he says. With an H. And, oh yeah, twitch again. So I suppose after this, for a small build, we need to have a think, don't we? As to what our next one's going to be after the chin. I know we're going to have the fire engine as the biggie. Hold on. Um, you and me thinking. Oh, that's a bit. That's a challenge. I know. It can only go well, can't it, mate? Um, what do you fancy? I honestly don't mind. I'm not bothered. Uh, um, we did it on something, but I've forgotten what it was, Dave. I'm sure we've had this discussion already, haven't we? Um, was it was it Unimog or was it container ship? Well, to be honest with you, we could do either or either. Yeah. So I mind. Yeah, because I know we've been toying with the idea, haven't we? So. Hmm. Well, as we're doing a flying thing this time, why don't we do a floaty thing next time? Yeah. 
mix it up a little bit. Yeah, bit of boatage. Does that mean everything will be ship shape? Possibly. See what I did there? You don't want me to do that again, do you? Um, you know, it depends on if you're going to splice the main brace. Oh, really? Here we go. How much did that anchor weigh again? Uh -huh. Yeah. Shall I get me coat? I would, mate. I would. Um, yeah, we'll go with a bit of the old uh, container ship then, mate. Why not? Well, it will go in. Well, I think it'd be a good one because it'd be different. Yeah. Something different, isn't it? Uh, Sue's telling everyone to stop picking on me. Oh, I'm really twitchy. I'm having a mare, mate. I'm having a mare with my twitching today. Oh. Sue's telling you all off for picking on me, by the way. Thank you, Sue. Love you. Oh, you've dropped it again, you utter pilchard. Really? Come on. <laughs> ah, that'd be like Festa. Lean on the bench, there you go. Let's go through it that way. That way, if I drop it again, I'll drop it on the bench. That's the theory, folks. We can do this. I wouldn't believe the inner determination I've got to do this. Go on, you can do it. You know you can. There you go. <clears throat> yes. That's because I made a boo-boo and I've got the wrong canister. And glued it on and couldn't figure out why the supports didn't look right. And it's because I didn't read the number properly. It looked like the one. So I glued it together thinking it was the one, and I had the RAF one, not the American one, and it was wrong, Dave. And <coughs> it went pear shaped before you got started. <laughs> yeah, it looked at me and laughed. And yeah. But that's all right. I've redeemed myself. See, I have these mistakes and accidents so that you won't have to. But when you come to do that bit, that goes above the cockpit. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, check the numbers on the canister. Okay. Because you could very easily put that one together and it ain't the right one. Oh, well, okay, I, I, I will keep that in mind. So they're not good to you, eh, telling you that. I should have let you do the same as what I did. But no, I can't be that cruel. Hey, look, just because you told me doesn't mean to guarantee that I'm going to remember. I hadn't taken that into consideration. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have a little compression then, did we? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you didn't hear that, I hope. <laughs> I heard it fair and square, mate. It it came out while speaking that fast and it went through my ear holes. Oh, gold, I'm going out. Sorry, folks. <laughs> oh, cut me. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I'm a man of a certain age. Oh, dear. No, Trump, 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 Trump. Thanks, mate. <laughs> cool, yeah, he's been remarkably quiet and all, hasn't he? Well, I think I can't see how he can think he's can stay him as as president. I honestly don't know. I don't know how their thing really works out there. So no, neither do I. <laughs> Probably the best part of the population don't know either. Yeah, it's a very very bizarre set of circumstances isn't it mate 
if all the votes have been counted and then counted again and then counted for a third time and it's still coming up with the same numbers, surely then it's got to be right. You'd give up the ghost, wouldn't you? Or I might just be so. too logical. Us? Logical, Dave? Oh. Could you rephrase that, mate? Because the audience are going to be thinking they've become really technically minded and we haven't because we're two silly blokes that don't know what we're doing and you will fit i'm telling you resistance is futile have you a bit of that Oh, oh yeah, uh, post it note, post it note, post it note. Oh, are you doing the festa? Yeah. Good man. I'm doing the festa because me, me clamps won't clamp on hard enough. That didn't sound right, did it? It didn't, but I know what you meant. Who <laughs> 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 her matron, he says. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to be a big brave boy on Saturday. I'm going to go and get stabbed. Oh, you got yours and all. I'm going to go and get me flu jab. Yeah, I have my letter through. I've oh, got not to go that, to the drive through and all of that lot. Oh, um, no, not, not that jab. I'm, I'm having me flu jab. Oh, just right, the, yeah. The ordinary flu jab. I don't think my, my, my position won't be coming along for quite some time. Oh, no, I'm not on about COVID. I'm on about flu, mate. Oh. I think you're on about COVID. No, 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 not yet, mate. Call that, mate. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm not that important. Yeah, fudge me. <laughs> One nil. Well, you're in the group above me, aren't you? Oh, uh, yes. It'll be when it'll be, mate. I'm not, you know, not. There's more important people out there, like the Queen, that'll get it before we do. Uh, you know, so let them get theirs. Yeah, I bet she might go and stand in the queue either. Oh no, I probably already had it, mate. But you know, she is the sovereign at the end of the day, so. I was, I was, I was going to say something then, and I had to stop myself because it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Don't do what I just did then and forget. <laughs> oh no, it was not bad language. It was just um, a bad comment about someone. Oh right, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and I thought I'll oh, just stay quiet. Us, stay quiet, Dave. Are you sure you're feeling all right, mate? You might want to pinch yourself on that one. Still like to go up in one of these chinooks, you know, just so that I can sit there leaning out of it doing the wob, 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 wob noises. Uh, the best that I can do is I've been in the back one to clean one out. Yeah, stuff out of it, but that, that's as close as I've come to actually. Hey, mate, it's good enough. Mm. I'll buy that for a dollar. Excuse me, I think the best one I had was when I was when when I was invited to sit in the pilot seat of a Phantom. <gasps> really? Yeah. Did you do girly noises? Um. Not really, because there's this big and great flight sergeant that says, whatever you do, do not grab that yellow and black handle between your legs. Oh, right. Okay. Why is that? <clears throat> he said, by the time you've gone through that roof, there won't be much left of you. Oh, did okay. you did you start looking at said handle going, but I want to pull it now. I want to pull it now. I looked at it. And I said, well, what if I pulled the both of them? And he said, don't even think about it. <laughs> oh, you got the look, did you? He said, I am I am not going to clean up your remnants after you finished. Oh. And I thought, oh, that's, that's not very nice. So it was a serious 
telling off. No, no, I think it was a pre-telling off. <laughs> oh. I, will, I will get this bit on. <laughs> Carl, you can do this faster. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it drives me nuts. There you go, it's on there. <laughs> Lord, Sorry. Lord, Lord Barkley the third is in. Hello, my lad. How you doing? Hope you're all right, mate. Uh, oh, it fell off in there. Uh, I, think, I think Dan has made a presence, made, made an entrance. Because everybody's saying, hello, Dan the man. Happy days. Hello, Dan. I think the carpet monster's had that. Oh, really, I went wrong with that, and it still fell off. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's play hunt plastic now. Ooh. Spotted it. Found it. Yeah, it's on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> This is why it takes me about three hours of footage to do 10 minutes of video. <laughs> I took the red pills. <laughs> no, it should have been a purple one this week. <laughs> um, what am I doing? I'm not slow. I'm, I've, I've lost it. <laughs> And breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> it's roughly in the right spot. Go on. Go on, you little lighter. Clean that up, Dave. Then I did well there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave that at that for a sec. <laughs> I am in awe of when you were. <laughs> Uh, Paul Lides is, uh, my old man wanted to be a fighter pilot but was too tall. Uh, the recruitment officer told him if he ejected from the fighter, he would leave the bottom part of his legs in the cockpit and it kind of put him off. Oh, wow. Uh, Lee Roberts says it sounds like there's a duck near Colin. <laughs> yeah. Jackie says fudge. Uh, yeah, I know. And Dad goes, um. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I got away with it. <coughs> oh, I, I thought I'd keep you company on one, though. Good man, mate. Thing is, thing, is, <laughs> thing is, Dave, we are of a certain age now. Oh, mate. Man, come on out it. And all these uh, younger folk that laugh at us and that, they'll go to bed at 49, they'll wake up at 50 they'll reach up to the bathroom cabinet to get the toothpaste and they'll go well, that's when it begins yep i mean don't get any better no every time you go to the cabinet or the drawer get out of the chair yeah anything that involves a little bit of stretching or compression compression is worse. <laughs> yeah we're like a bellows isn't we i mean when did this all oh yeah it, oh. I don't it's tell not, you this. I've, I've had this longer than you have, mate. You know, I've had to put up with this longer than you have. <laughs> yeah, but they don't tell us in school, do they? No. Yeah. No. There you go, they, they try to imply that you should grow old gracefully. I have every intention of not doing that. No. No, as I've said many a time, I came into this world starkers, bold and skint, and that's how I intend to leave it. And I want my last check to be for the tax man, and I want it to bounce. Yeah. Yeah, make that check out. And can um, can can Dunlop, Pirelli, Goodyear, and Firestone sponsor it, please? <laughs> well, see, my, my, my boys were shocked because me and my missus have already sorted our funerals out. And they, you know, we gave them all the details and all of that lot. Because you do, don't you? You're getting a bit older and you like to know that if anything does happen, that the family can organise and, and get things sorted. Well, we, we, we've we done this 
no frills thing where you know they come and get your bits and bobs and off they go and do their thing and cuts out all the middlemen and the cost doesn't it and i just know that's going to go down like a lead balloon with some of them because they're professional mourners isn't they some people so yeah i can imagine there's going to be a few people doing skippy impersonations when they find out i think it's a good thing you know because i've seen people crippled by the cost of a few more in this room <sighs> right by the way mate i'll just say pick me up put me in a bin bag and <laughs> leave me out for the dustman just go down and weigh me in first though because all the metal might be worse <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my, my boy will probably think of doing that actually my youngest he probably go oh, there might be a few quid in that you know? well don't 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 peg out when you're in the hospital because if you do that they'll be straight in and have all the metal back cleaned up and ready for someone else oh uh, yeah they'll take it all out don't they allegedly i don't know whether that is true though. luke might know but yeah i know at the creme they normally what's left if it's got metal in they they just gather it all up don't they and then they just do what they do with it uh, good luck with that mate gonna think that they've made it rich mate when they put me in there yeah i knew that would happen ready come on colin oh, yeah get a grip Catching twitches. Bum, 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 bum. Do it that way. Not the neatest of finishes, but I can clean it up. Oh, yeah. I have an inner determination. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So at least something done on it today. And the twitches aren't going to be me. There you go. So yeah, Unimog or the container ship? That's the question, isn't it? Why? I always put a poll up, couldn't I, on the Facebook group and the uh, YouTube page? Yeah, why not? See, 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 what, see what the viewers think. Yeah. Let, let them take the responsibility of choosing which one. Well, yeah, because we can blame men then, see, can't yeah, we? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I think that works well, Dave. <laughs> yeah. So the numbers round, Cole, so you can see them, mate. Oh, no, that is tiny. Really? Oh, cool. Thing is, I could just imagine Luke flying in on one of these, you know, as the pilot, giving it the full BA Baracas bit. No way you're getting me in that goddamn plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or jumping out the back in full uh, Chuck Norris mode. Armoured to the hilt like Rambo. Oh, yeah. Just imagine that, mate. Yeah, he'd, he'd be the sort that come go, go running out the back of it, head down, and just keep going. Oh, absolutely, mate. Absolutely, mate. I pity anyone that came across him on a bad night in action, mate. Now, they would have done a fester. Huh. <laughs> you know they would. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Good man, mate. Well, that's that. That's that. I've done that. Oh, yeah, I'm on a roll now. Oh, yeah. Hey, you go study that. Oh, yeah. These. Well, I'm going to see how big these bits are. There's loads of aerials and shizzle as well. I don't know where they all go. Yeah, you corrected that one quickly. You think I've done well there, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I did wonder what was going to come out, and I oh, thought he's, he's not thinking. He's, he's oh, thinking. mate, it was a quality save, wasn't it, mate? He's not thinking. He's, he's, <laughs> he's going to drop it. He's, no, oh, blimey, he didn't. No, no, Festa thinking. Come on, Dave. <laughs> cool, you're giving me more credit than I deserve, mate. <laughs> oh, that's a point. Oh, I nearly forgot there. I want to. Whilst I remember. It's all right. I've just had an alarm that went off to remind me, see? So. I want to give a shout out to Twisted Sniper 42, who gives a lot of the community folks with channels shout outs on little videos on his channel. And I thought I'd like to return the favour. So, Twisted Sniper 42, mate, keep up the good work. Uh, if you haven't popped over and given him a visit, pop over, like and subscribe, and ring his little dingaling. <laughs> and uh, he's like us, he likes to spread the love a bit in the community, you know, and give something back. And he does these little five-minute videos, Dave, of all the channel banners. All right. And yeah, and I think it's a lovely idea, and I've been wanting to get in the shout-out, and I've finally remembered. So, top job, mate. Can't it's nice when people do that. Can't say it's one that I've come across, but I shall go investigate after. It's that. worth a looky loo, mate. Load of content on there, and uh, yeah, he did it with Mike recently. Gave him a shout out on there, and uh, yeah, it just puts the you know your channel banner. Mm. Just adds that with a bit of the old music going, you know, a bit of the old dingling and all of that, and uh, yeah, you, you get a shout out, and it's I think that's mint. So, yeah. That's a good deed for the day, that is. Sand the plastic coal, not your fun. Oh, yeah. Telling myself off good today, Dave, and I. You're doing well, aren't you? Yeah. So, yeah. It's just one of them days, mate, isn't it? You know, it'll be a feet up and listen to a lovely conversation, mate, because I'm building for, um, yeah, today, it's, uh, yeah, it's a challenge. All good fun, though. These things are sent to change challenges. Absolutely, mate. It's what makes us at the end of the day, or breaks us, whichever way you want to look at it, but. It is what it is. Next time I see one of these at an air show, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna see where I can sneak a looky loo in there and have a good old nose because um, yeah, it, it might not look a particularly large aircraft, but it is a cavernous great hole inside. Is it? Yeah. Not an ordinary old end, a big old. It's a big old. Yeah, there it is. Next to the one I cut off about two minutes ago. Do this. Oh, yeah. <coughs> well, ah, there it is. I oh, know I'll put it somewhere safe. Uh, yeah, Luke's got a good one there. He says that his whole cave is going to M4H. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good shout, mate. Yeah, I've got a donation for stash and supplies, mate. It's... Yeah, there's a few people that have done it, you know, and it's... It's a... I know it's a subject that not everyone's comfortable talking about, is it really? But it's just a nice gesture, isn't it? And yeah. We'll just have to be careful to make sure Malcolm's not prowling at night because he, he might try and bump us off so he gets some extra... <laughs> yeah, he's going to turn up like Freddy Krueger, isn't he? Bumping us all off. Yeah, where was it? Dave said he put his... Oh, yeah, up in the loft. Yeah, he might find a few extra paintbrushes once he starts moving things around. Oh, you still not recovered that other one, then? Uh, no. No. 
I've, this this week I've successfully lost two paintbrushes and a pair of tweezers. I found me yellow paint though. That was in the pipe over there. It had ricocheted off the window and rattled down the extractor pipe. So yeah, I'm I'm having a bit of a a challenging week. <laughs> so yeah. But hey ho, it's all part of the fun, mate. That's why we do this, Obu. Allegedly, because it's fun. Uh, I still haven't found the bit that I wanted to find at the first part of the day. It's going to bug me until I find it. But I can't find it. But hey ho, I'm not going <clears> to. <throat> I've got to get my lip out. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Captain Flappage there. That sounded wrong, didn't it? Some of it, I don't think there's... Let's have a look and see which bits ain't used, because I've got a feeling there's a lot on these screws that ain't used. There are quite I mean, a few bits. Yeah, that'll be why I can't find the bits then that I keep seeing on the sprues, because I'm hunting through the instructions looking for where they go. Yeah, clues in there, not used it, Burke. Right. <clears throat> Answers that question, Dave, doesn't it? Yeah. And I, I still I can't find one of the little pointy bits, but it's... I've probably glued it on where it shouldn't be, but... Five to one on, I bet you that's what I did. Let's have a quick looky loo <clears throat> and see what's there underneath US Army. That, two of those, one of them, two of those, one of them, one of them, and one of them. Let's bang on. And then it's got, what's it got on his Harris? Let's have a looky loo. Uh, big old one of them. One of them. Yeah, it's definitely missing one of them. Unless it's pinged off, of course, because it has been moved about a bit. And it might have fallen off. My... <clears throat> what have you lost? It's one of the little bits that goes up underneath its aris. Um, oh, Oh, one of the aerial thingies. Yeah, that'll be the thing, and it's yeah, and it, it's not massively thing. It could have been shot off in bit, and uh, I've just got a feeling I've put it somewhere safe, or it's pinged off like a pingy offy thing. And uh, yeah, not to worry. I can cobble something up that will fit in that hole. But yeah, that sounded wrong as well, didn't it? Um, hey, do you wanna do you wanna redo that one? Yeah, yeah, I'll fight. <laughs> I'll just leave it there, I think, Dave, didn't you? <laughs> and I, I, I thought I'd, I'd give you an opportunity to redeem yourself. Yeah, I couldn't redeem myself if, uh, yeah. All right, then. <laughs> you know what I'm like. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a bit number 42, you know, one of those little flat bits with the air. I've got a feeling that... It might have been on a bit of sprue that I logged. Oh. But then, how many screws come with it? That was a point. I don't think there was that many. Was it? Let's have a look at low, because it could well be that. Yeah, that's a small one. That's got all of that on it. Forty, forty, forty. Uh, there's three forty twos in a row down there. Right. Nah, they're, 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 yeah, they're all off the sprues, so yeah, it's probably pinged off. It ain't a massive thing. It's just annoying. It's got a hole in it now, and it's like there's nothing in it. Uh, what can I wangle in there that make it look a bit better? Sprue go probably. Have one of them going and all. Uh, right, slap that on there. 
happy accidents, mate. That's what it's all about, Dave, isn't it? Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, that's a big one, isn't it? Let's have a look at the... Is that the same as that? No, it's a bit bigger. I'll slap that down there, then. That'll do. This is the bit now, Dave. I'm adding things to it that may not necessarily have been there. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm going to have people go, do you realise that that wasn't on there? <gasps> what we're going to do? You're just going to carry on as you were before. Absolutely. It's on there now, mate, isn't it? It's the beauty of this hobby. Build it how you choose. It then becomes what if? It becomes a custom build, Dave. Well, yes. Um, so you can have a flap like that. Okay. Oh, mate, yeah, there's loads of scope for additional gribblage. I've got a funny feeling. I've got to put some more decals on the control panel, haven't I? Have you? I mean, there's two lots that go on there, mate. One for the dashboard and one for the centre console. Yeah, I've got to do a centre console. Oh, I've got to do two for the centre console. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> you might <clears throat> you might want a bit of the old extra strong wrinkly crinklage as well, mate. To get them to come on. <clears throat> right, how are we doing in the chat? Let's just have a little looky loo. <clears throat> Paul D. Tomazo's in. Hello, mate. Hello. I'm doing all right, Paul. Uh, what have we got? Uh, Archie's in. Hello, Archie. How you doing, mate? Oh, that was Paul saying hello, hello, mate. Uh, Edward Leonard's in. Hello, Edward. All right, hello, mate. Uh, Osric 9000, Dave, says he's seen the Chinook at a couple of air shows and it is amazingly manoeuvrable. Yeah, was, didn't they have one? Did, They've been at Farnborough. Yeah, because... Uh, they had one that had a special paint job on it. I can't remember what it was for. It was in celebration or something. Yeah. Uh, Edward oh, Lennon's had a bit of real life stuff going on there, saying that he was on the phone with his sis. His mum finally came home from hospital, so it's been an eventful day. Get well soon, Edward Lennon's yes. mum. Yes, hopefully all will be good. Absolutely, mate. Uh, is that a link for our friend Twisted Sniper, Dad, is it, mate? Yeah, brilliant. Cheers for that, Mike. Much appreciated. Uh, in the background, Mike's uh, in there just uh, doing all the little uh, things on the chat that Fester forgets when he's talking rubbish. Uh, Luke's saying he's been on many over the years. Yeah, I know, mate. Yeah, he's a legend. Lord Bartley III says, what you need to do if your partner is not a modeler is to leave a list of prices to sell certain models for as my wife would give them away or bin them and most are over 100 quid each. Absolutely, mate. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Fred says, right, chaps, that time again, he's got to go off and uh, do some bits and pieces because he does his M4H thing this evening. So... Cheers, Fred. Thanks for popping in, me old mate. Say hello, uh, Fred. Have a good one, mate. Thanks for keeping me entertained, mate, because uh, everyone needs a bit of Fred in their life. Oh, yeah. I have a bit of Fred. You know, and uh, many a night when I can't sleep, Fred's tones keep me going. This is going to be fun doing these. How many of these are going to ricochet across the bench? Oh, cheers, Luke. It was the one that I was on about. It was an RAF display team for the show. Oh, right. Yeah. See, it's handy to have these people in the chat, isn't it? Because they're a wealth 
of knowledge, mate. Well, I just remember seeing that on a TV program, but you know, me like brain like memory like a sieve, I can't remember anything. <laughs> yeah, but we're over fifty, Dave. We're allowed to forget now. We're allowed to have senior moments, like when you go to give someone a set of headphones and she turns around and says, No, I wanted a power adapter. Yeah. And you just walk off and you're <laughs> cursing under your breath and you absolute <clears throat> throw in the throw into that being deaf in one ear and having 26 percent hearing left in the other you can understand now how i get so much wrong when people are talking yeah you know and the lads on the e-model show i think sometimes they forget that you know and it's like yeah but um you'll think someone said something and you go on chatting about something that is completely different to what everyone else was talking about yeah but the rotten buggers don't tell you that they've changed subject no they just leave me going see and then mock me mercilessly for messing up and it's like oh, oh i might try that on you one day oh mate yeah it's it's <laughs> happened a bit my, my missus does it all the time and then she looks at me when I answer and bursts out laughing. And she's like, how the hell did you come to that conclusion? I said, I'm convinced that's what you said. I called my boys Lettuce and Ullen one night. Don't know why, but it's stuck ever since. <laughs> she was talking about them and I went, Lettuce and Ullen? What are you on about, love? And she went, Lex and Callum. She said, you deaf old git. <laughs> but, ah, right, all right. And they're merciless, mate. Right, so, let's, let's do some sticking on of, of the deck on fingies. Oh, that's not good. Hopefully, I'll get the Mark II Fester ear in aid uh, soon. So. Oh, getting an upgrade, are we? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's needed, mate. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's going to be all singing, all dancing, Bluetooth and all of that, but obviously a lot stronger prescription because, you know, the earring's going. I know it is. And that's the one thing that bothers me, if I'm honest, about all of this is, is going completely deaf, you know, because uh, it's going to have quite an impact, isn't it? Uh, well, we'll cross that down. I watched one of my own videos back with <laughs> with the closed caption subtitles on, Dave. I had mm. laughed. I haven't laughed so much in ages. I can imagine it wasn't quite what you were saying then. No, nowhere near what I was saying, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did have a giggle. I must admit. I suppose I should build the guns, but I want to build them off the helicopter and paint them separate. I only want to sling the stuff on it that I know is going to be, um, what's his name? Ugh, oh, prime painted same um, colour. Um, is, is, is there a right way around or a wrong way around for this deco? Pass. Oh, that's great help, that is. <laughs> Wibblekins, Wibblekins. I'm just looking at the dis distractions and it says Deckle 58 and it, okay. Yeah. Don't, doesn't help me in any way, shape or form. Oh no, it doesn't tell you nothing about it, does it? Do you know, you just love Ravel for that, don't you? Oh, they excel themselves sometimes, don't they, mate? Yeah, that'll ping off at any minute now. I know it will, but hey, I'm going to give it a go because um, I can do this. That's hands on in us. It is, mate. Right, there's a bit of a wiggle bit there. Okay. 
be. That looks like roughly where it goes. Yeah, now try and pick it up and pilch. Oh, did I just get that on? I did as well. Back in days. Well, this is where now I... Time. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is where I now think I'll just have a fettle and it will fly off. So I'm going to leave it. No, don't touch it. Yeah. I'm going to leave it, Dave. I'm pleased with myself there. It's the simple things. I don't know what they are, though. Oh, they're the guns. Decal is in the right place. Uh, Grant's in five seven six zero models. Hello, Grant. How you doing, mate? Hello, Grant. That's what I was going to say. Is the video now working in the patrons thing for you all? Because I literally shuffled about just before I came live to try and sort the problem out. I take it you all can see it now and that it's playing okay. Some of that. Edward Leonard saying, yeah, he lost his dad in 81 and then his son in 97. There isn't anything worse than losing a child. Absolutely no parent should have to go through that. Mate. It's like, yeah. Yeah. No, there was something there. Yeah, I knew someone who lost his wife and two children in an RTA, and it devastated him. It really did, bless him. And uh, yeah, he joined them not long afterwards. Bless him. We'll go on. Mm -hmm. Well, the decal's in. He's got his first coat of setting solution on it. What's, what's that on the dash? dash? Yeah. What's, what's... Oh, I've done the dash. It's the centre console bit. I'll go and do something again. I'll move it. Oh, yeah, it's bound to happen, mate. Right. That's it, absolutely, he says. Uh, Gaz Wilcox is saying a Chinook flew over his house this afternoon. It's the first that I've ever seen. Oh, yes, they have a distinctive oh, noise. Yeah. Once heard, never forgotten. Absolutely, mate. Yeah, he says it was damn noisy. Absolutely, mate. Oh, but there's quite a few blokes that I thought think, that one's coming in, that's going to take me home. Yeah, they are. But they are, again, they are such an elegant work all so I know they just do the business. They do what it says on the tin, mate. I've done that and I've done that. Uh, they can all go on off air. Not putting the wipers on until I've demasked the windows. <laughs> yeah. So you know what's going to happen to them, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I know for a while I'll put the wipers on and forget that I've got mask go on the windows and it'll be like... Yeah. That's the RAF variant. So there's not a lot more of stickage that's required. So I just want to go back through and check my uh, conversion is as good as accurate as it can be. So we had all of that. We chopped them off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Props and that. They're all on. Uh, that's an REF variant. Don't have to worry about that. Yeah, it's them. 
that's the owls on there oh, and that's all the gabbins underneath put them on so then it's going to be all these little tiny pickle things yeah grab handles or whatever they are so they've got to go on wheels are on flat edge light edge Oh, I've got that little lot to go on that side of the rear crop section, haven't I? That was it. Okay, 102 is on. Tell you what, let's make it look exactly like it does on the sheet. Turn it upside down, go. Uh, 105 and 55. 101 as well. Oh, yeah. I'm going to roll here, one of them. Probably find the other side's going to be the same as well. But... That's my Corilla kicking in. Da, 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 da. Thank you, some of that. I'm trying to think who else said that they were getting my things to do. Because they've been following this. Someone did say to me the other day, I'm getting one of them now. Ooh. Oh, someone buying a shinnock, are they? Yeah, yeah, because they've been watching the Wednesday show. Oh, good. Yeah, I was chuffed a bit at that, mate, to be honest with you. To be fair. Little old us. I hope they have as much fun with it as what we've had. Exactly. That's it. Have you a bit of that? 105. Uh, what we got there? This is where Monkey, uh, that's ice cream laughing. This is where Monkey shows up with his blunderbuss and goes away on my fud. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, especially if you're parked crooked outside his house, mate. Cool, bet it. Like Rambo's bodyguard, he is, mate, stood there. <laughs> Can you believe that? What's that, Paul? He's only got, oh, yeah, look how he's parked. Oh, we can't see him. And he goes, doesn't he, Dave? And it is. We don't help him, do we, really? We just don't encourage him. No, we kind of just give him the extra boost just to go over the edge. So yeah. We're like, yeah, you yeah, know, I'm surprised you're letting him get away with that. Paul, you're losing your touch. Losing my touch, I'll give you losing your touch. Oh, off he goes again. Oh, you. Yeah, I think we should call him the guardian of the wibble. Absolutely. I didn't want that bit anyway. Let's cut another one off. Oh. Just need to remember that it's down there. Note to self don't do live builds when you're having a really, really ropey, twitchy day. <laughs> La, 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 la. Got Captain Scarlet in me head again, Dave. Da, da, dum, da, 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 dum. That probably didn't help. We go for round two now on that bit. Been it worked so well the first time. This is where this one flies off now. Hmm. There you go. 
cloud, don't I? I can't see where the other one's gone. I don't think it stuck to my foot. I think it went in the drawer that my foot is on. Oh, that's going to be fun trying to find that. Sniff that out just a Don't be like Fester. Oh, what's done there? Oh, mate, I, I had a bit that I was going to glue on, but I twitched and it flew off and it's disappeared into the twilight zone. It'll turn up. Yeah, ain't you tread on it and scream the red off? Oh, no, it's a flat, it's oh. a flat flat bit that goes on the back of the tail but yeah i think it's gone into the big deep snap on tall chest drawer that i've got my feet resting on and i'm not going to go hunting for it whilst we're live because it means i've got to get down on the floor and it's <laughs> oh, oh, said last so. time i did that on the live i got stuck so i'm not going to even go there <laughs> i'm stuck yeah it's like, yeah, I'm not even going down that road, mate. It's like, yeah, you can stay there. It's not that important. Uh, can I replicate it? You know what will happen? I'll replicate it, and then I'll find it stuck to me toe or something. But, yeah, it's not, definitely not on me toes. state I get myself in. Okay, let's have a look and see what we've got. Got a couple of bits to go under there. Done all the hooks. That's RAF aerials. Let's check the US. Done all of those. So is that, is that an hook with or without an H? Uh, it's with H, mate. Hook with H. Uh, yeah, they have to go on the front. Uh, I don't know what they are. But, I'm saying that, could use them on there, couldn't I? Yes. Yeah, so. Have you one of them? Should we have you another one? Yeah, let's have another one. I think. I've got two holes under there that Stick out like a blind cobbler's fun. So I might as well put something in them. Got no idea what these two things are, but they fit in their moles, so they're going in them. <laughs> oh, good, nearly, nearly. I heard that. I heard that. Nearly had you. Well saved, mate. Oh, I didn't think about that at all. I know. <laughs> I, again, like like you did with me, I thought, yeah, he's, he's going to blow that one out. It's getting there. Was that a dagnamic, was it, buddy? Um, I can't repeat what I was thinking of saying. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right, I can put that one on, but I can't put the other one on because it's down on deck somewhere. So, before I forget, I'm going to slap that one on. All I can tell on. you is it was going to start with F and it was going to be a long sentence. Oh, uh, Dick Dastardly F, was it? Saga mm. Faga Ragga. Yeah, I know the one. Yeah, one of them. Very nearly had a full blown Dave Wibble on air, then. Is that what you're saying? Uh, it was very close. Well, I suppose if I'd done what the instructions said and put the deck on when they suggest putting it on, I'm not leaving it until now. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. RTFM, mate. Yeah, I don't understand that terminology. <laughs> yeah. 
Bless you. Yeah, standard cash. What part of RTFM don't you understand? Uh, how about all of it? Yeah. Yeah, it's like pass. Doesn't anyone from IT read the instructions? No. no. Instructions, Dave. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't read instructions. <laughs> you, only get oh, yeah. the, you only get the manual out when it's gone fizzle, fizzle, bang, and it's all gone smoke. Oh, up. yeah. Day one of us blokes reads the manual is not like you say, it's when it's gone wrong. How many of us to start building a flat pack? Because we think, well, that's the sides, that's the back, that's the front. And you get halfway through it and you're like, why don't this fit? Yeah. And then you scroll through the manual with that look. And you and find you, out the bit that you thought was the front is in actual fact the side. Yeah. And then you find you have to disassemble everything that yeah. you've spent all that time doing. Just to put that one thing in. Yeah, and yeah. all those screws that you've so eagerly over-tightened, you've now got to untighten. Yeah. And just sit there and you're like, stupid instructions, they're useless, because you blame the instructions. Yeah. You blame the assembler that first made it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Got no idea what that is, but I like the look of it, so it's going on. Well. There I say, it looks a bit like a... No, 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 we're on air. That was well diverted. That was, wasn't it? I, I will give you a kudos point. It's like, um, how can I say this? It's like an, uh, it's a tube with a bulbous. Yep. I think it's some kind of satellite navigation thing, but yeah. You'll know the piece I'm in when you come across I, I, it. I, I think I know what you're on about. But it's covered up a rather annoying hole underneath because mine's going to be hanging from the ceiling and I would have seen the hole and it would bug me. That's what I want because it's the tube that says hey. Oh, good shout. Uh, that's the the tube that says paint. It'll be the tube that says putty. Yeah, try that one, Dave. Yeah. That'll be the one you want, mate. One, one of them. Well, you know. Uh, two of them to go on its beak. Done all of that. That's the RF. Don't need that. Done that one. Only the guns to do, which I'll build, but paint off the model. So gunnage time. Ooh. US Army. There you go. There's apparently, there's two different guns. No idea. But I will go with the instructions because, unlike Dave, <clears throat> Dave's not going to bite. No, not at all, mate. <coughs> Dave wants to bite, though. Dave's not biting. 86, that's the one. Let's add that off of there. Oh, uh, what have we got in the old chat there? Maya Model Work says, IT instructions. It's got four steps. Step one, it, it. Step two, give it a shake. It, it again. Step three, take the cover off and vacuum the dust. Put it together and then it. it. Step four, see step one. Pretty much. Normally, it, normally it's step one with me. I would just look at it and go, that is clagged. Basically, is all I used to say. Well, I, think, oh. I think you forgot about the, the other step. Turn it off and switch it back on again. Yeah, that'll work. 
every time. Spidey Q8 says no time for that nanny og. We get to see Mar Margaret back from what's his name said Granny Weatherwax. Okay, I'm um, fuzzed. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I like okay. Come fast. Hmm. Oh. Let's just move that out of the way. I think that one can stay in Planet Mayhem. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's in that Yes Andy mode. Yeah, it's that um whatever. <laughs> yeah. Confused.com. Confused, you will be. Uh, gunnage, gunnage, and gunnage. There you go. Six, which is the longer one of those. Oh, da 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 so um, the belated question the, is, what is or what has or more probably, what have you had in your bellies and what have you got on your benches? Mm. Yeah, I can't believe we've got that. <gasps> Belly and bench, Dave. Oh, oh, Tell you what, I'll stop that and read out some of the belly and benches, mate. Let's have oh, a look. Sorry, I was no, no, I'm just waiting for them to come in, mate. But there'll be some coming up in a sec. And you carry on, mate. I'm doing, doing a, a mask from the windows. Got a bit engrossed. Um, you, yeah, you carry on, mate. Don't worry, I'll do it. I'm just going to pack up for now and read them out, mate. Just want to put that one piece on, and then I'll uh, go into the chat. Uh, carry on. Don't worry. Uh, let's put that over there. Put that next to it. Right. I'm going to switch off my bench camera and go over to ordinary then, and I'll read the chats out. Okay, let's have a looky loo at what we got. There you go, Black Rifle. Belly, homemade lasagna, and bench is scratch built Warhammer terrain. Oh, look forward to seeing that on Sunday, mate. I was going to say, there'll be a few pics worth looking at. Yeah, Speedy Q8. So far, he says, pancakes, but I'm pondering something to stuff my face with right now. Oh, good sound. Good shout. Mm -hmm. Musey saying coffee. 
and a bit of coffee cake and the bench is one less mini than I started with, laugh out loud. Oh, well done. Absolutely. Uh, Graham McRobert says, I've done a Dave just now and doing your Samity Sam rain at the Snowberry build. Arr, absolutely. Yeah. Muse is doing her laundry as well. Oh, heck. Speedy QH doing the Chris. Uh, he's soon going to have Iron Man on his bench. Good man. It's not actually a bad part, works. That looks nice. Osric 9000 bench, Daz work L900 truck, and belly, oh, meatballs in curry, Dave. Do you know what? I was, <laughs> as I was putting this bit of masking tape on, I was thinking slow cook meat and vegetable curry for the weekend. Absolutely. Paul Lyons says it's going to be chili and rice. Bench is a 72nd scale Airbus EC 135 LE in Air Glaciers paint scheme, mountain rescue stroke first aid. Get in there. Quano man's working on a snow speeder and has just stuffed his mush with spaghetti bolognese. Get in there, mate. Ooh. He says, I may have sp slightly misspelt that. Hey, mate, I misread it. You misspell it. What a dynamic duo we can be. Uh, <clears throat> Mayhem Model Works Burger and chips with fried eggs oh, uh, Bench He's saying uh, no bench He's sounding alright until he said fried eggs Absolutely mm. Absolutely mate That sounds mint that does mate I'll have me a bit of that Oh monitor's going mental What else have we got Really? Yeah, no, that's pretty much up to speed with the old chatty kins there. Let's put my old destructions away because I'm not going to be doing any more building now. Because it's getting close to the time when we depart. Already? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come out 20 past, mate. Okay. Yeah, let's just bring that foot up. Sit on it for a bit. Stop it twitching because it's distracting me. There you go. So let's have a scroll up and see what has oh, been oh, going oh, on oh, in the oh, chat oh. that I missed earlier. Uh, Scout Model Muse says she lives in a flight path and traffic path in Selfridge. We always get the noise. Absolutely. I've got a, <clears throat> an RAF base just across the way there, Muse, and uh, it's a hive of activity and... Uh, yeah, we're always getting Chinooks and other stuff flying over, and it fascinates me, you know, because I love all of that. It's proper mint, mate, and it's even better when the air shows are going off around here, like Farnborough, Duxford, and that, because they move stuff from the RF base to go to all the shows, you know, and, uh, yeah. What else have we got there? <clears throat> that was Fred saying he was nipping off because he's got his M4H thing that he does. Uh, that was Mike saying uh, the link he had put up was for Twisted Sniper 42's YouTube. It's the guy who gives us the shout outs. And that's the link for that. If you want to have a looky loo, folks, pop over. And it's all about sharing the love, Dave, isn't it? You know, oh, we're, definitely. we're big for it on the Sunday show because. You know, the Sunday shows, the viewers show at the end of the day. And we like we like to give back. We like to pimp other channels and all of that. Uh, Mayhem saying, is it your monitor, Colin, or the cable? No, it's the monitor, mate. It's got 30-odd thousand hours of active time on it. And it's, yeah, it's different cables and different power adapters have been tried, mate. I am a methodical person before I replace something. But no, it's it's the monitor, mate. It's yeah, it's just, yeah. All the cables have been taken from working monitors in other rooms, and uh, no, it's and this was taken to them rooms and plugged into them systems and does exactly the same. So it's cheaper for me just to replace it, mate. Plastic monkey says quiche and potatoes and bench. <laughs> Sophie, that's wishful thinking. <laughs> Oh, you can just imagine the face on I Sue. I can just imagine Sue sitting there with an expression 
like a giraffe suck in a wasp, speed dusting and going, if I have to come up there, I am going to batter the grit away from you, young man. That's what she'll say. <sighs> Close day. Well, you, you, you imagine her going up there with a, one of them um, heavyweight rolling pins. I'm going to send her one of my fly swats so that she can just walk up, extend it, lean through the door and go whoosh. <laughs> Uh, Quano Man says, as a dynamic duo, he's thinking uh, Colin jogging down a road dressed as Batman and Robin like Del and Rodney did would definitely get the girlies talking. <laughs> yeah, probably get me arrested as well, mate. <laughs> I'm a man of a certain age, mate. You know, my utility belt would have accessories that aren't designed to be hanging off it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think on that note, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, we're men of a certain age. <laughs> tell me about it. So what you got planned for the rest of your week? And don't you dare say nothing, because I will slap you with a wet mitten. Well, funny you should say that. I am I am painting a wingy thing. Mm -hmm. A thing with wings, and it's not metal. It's organic. Mm -hmm. And I might be painting a miniature. Happy days. A miniature miniature. Oh, a miniature miniature. Yeah, of the um, Warhammer 40k origin. Oh, my God. Welcome to the dark side. It's the uh, Headless Space Marine. Oh, oh, good girl. Fox is going to be so pleased with you. He's going to be proud he is. Uh, Jacqueline Stevens is saying belly, smoked fish and pasta. Oh, nice. And she's working on her diamond art. Ooh, Ooh. Smoked belly, uh, smoke, smoke belly and pasta, Ooh. smoked fish and pasta. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah. And uh, Mayhem saying, yeah, he's going to give him a dry slap with a wet mitten. Absolutely, mate. But it's going to be wet mitten that's been put in the fridge to get cold and then it's had an extra bit of wetage added to it so it's got a sting to the wetness mm -hmm. or put it in the freezer for a few seconds just so yeah. it chills it down a little bit more a bit crinkly so that it leaves a mitten shaped mitten mark oh. He's oh, go, on. Now, go on mate you carry on mate oh, i'm not going to stop you mate this is the first oh, one you've done i'm gonna go <laughs> i'm gonna sit and savor this mate <sighs> All right, okay then. Uh, EC Idaho belly pizza rolls. Oh, nice. That's different. Absolutely. And mate. he's got an ATM Ertel P40 on the bench. Oh, nice. My M saying, What's this? Dave's got a 40k. Yeah, he's got a 40k. He has. Mm -mm. Yeah, I, I could hear I could hear the sound of feet running down the stairs as Fox is scurrying to his phone to go. Oh, did someone say Dave's got forty k? Yeah. It will be the third Space Marine that I've painted. <laughs> Quano Man's got the caption of the day there. He says, <laughs> "I'm trying not to think about Sue spanking that monkey." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd corpse you on air, mate, as a roundup. That is brilliant, mate. <laughs> he doesn't say a lot our Dan but when he does he comes out with a blinder <laughs> uh, James Chapman says uh, belly SF SF, SF even see breadsteaks bench is finished recording the first episode of a 1-8 fast and furious dodge charger get in there my son oh well done yeah, and Mayhem saying third, Dave, you're a dark horse. Oh, yeah. He puts talcum powder in his hair before he comes on, so he's like Snow White, and he goes off, shakes his head, and he's like Sean Connery. Shaken, not stirred. If only. <laughs> right. I suppose we're at that point, mate, ain't we? I can't believe it's gone that quick. Yeah, because you're going to have belly rumbling, so you'll want to go and do your dinner. So, yeah. yeah. Yes, and, and and go and do my, my duty and um, speak to model-making mum. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. I think we'll round up for the day by saying, you know, thanks for tuning in and keeping us two company. 
really does mean a lot, you know, and hopefully we don't ramble too much and bore you to death, but we try our best. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you Sunday for the brunch, Dave, don't we? Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and, and lots of photos, we hope. Yes, yes, lots of gallery goodness. I've seen a couple go in because I had to go and enable a few things on Facebook this morning that had mm -hmm. mysteriously gone a bit AWOL. So, yeah, there are some oh, gallery treats in there, mate. Face ain't playing up again, is it? Yeah, I found it with YouTube as well, where I've had to go back into some channels and re-ring the bell and that. I don't know whether they're doing algorithm stuff or what, but just a few little tweaks where things ain't talking properly. But, yeah. But it's all sorted now. Oh, well, folks, going to love and leave you. Let you all go and have your tea, your dinner and all of that lot and catch up with you on Sunday for another brunch. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.